Hello everybody, my name is Promise, and welcome back to more RimWorld with our Wandering Nomads playthrough in the new Ideology expansion. We have already abandoned our first base and raided a small silver mining outpost, which has been nice. I think I took a prisoner out of that arrangement technically as well. Now we're going to head over to this hunting worksite. I've decided these small little... Um, these small little work sites are actually perfect for some early game raiding. And that's probably very intentional on Tynan's end. Because if we're going to take the raiding precepts, you have a mood debuff when you haven't been raiding. But obviously in the early game, you can't go raid an entire settlement. That's way too difficult. So in order to make it so you actually aren't penalized too heavily, some very small bones have been thrown to us by the game, which I do like. Woo, what's this? The ship to the stars? All right, so there is a friendly AI with a starship that can take me out of this freaking rim world. I have never tried taking advantage of this um, this ending before, but apparently all the way over here close to the free dog desert is going to be a ship that we could take advantage of. That's, um well, kind of on the literal opposite end of the planet. So getting over there might be a little bit on a difficult side, but you know, it'd be really cool if we could pull that off. It just means that every video we have to pack up and start moving in that direction, and even then it'll take a good long while. Fascinating. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and freak some of you guys out because I'm about to do something crazy and, uh, well, I, some people will say it's a cheat, but it's not actually a cheat, and let me explain what's going on here. Let's first pop into this map because I wanna see what's going on. So, we have encountered a bug in the game. Uh, I actually checked this, uh, just so happened to be playing, you know, a recording session, and started to work on that and realized, wait, something's completely wrong. Why is Habsburg unable to move? Let me show you what I'm talking about. What's going on with his right leg and his left foot? Oh, they're missing. How is this possible? Great question. I have no idea, because he had these at the end of the last video. And now when I've reloaded the game, they're gone. I can prove even further that this is a bug if we take a look at Tigera. Notice any problems with the location of the aesthetic nose? It's on her left shoulder. That doesn't make any sense. So yeah, something broke in the last patch of the game and or one of the mods has goofed up. I did add in a couple more mods. I didn't think they'd affect all this, but for some reason they are broken. Canon looks completely fine. So we need to fix this. I'm gonna go ahead and use the character editor mod to do so instead of opening up the dev commands. Though that would obviously be a good way to do that as well. Let's remove the problems we're having having with these femurs and legs and stuff. Apparently I knocked him down by accident. And for some reason his left tibia has the leg. No idea why, we can fix that though. Going to implants and putting it on his, I believe it was his left leg that had it before. I'm just trying to restore what we had before. I'm not gonna cheat and heal things that were fine the first time. All right, we earned this right eye scar, even if I don't like it. But I definitely can't allow this to stay. So yeah, let's go ahead and toss on that aesthetic nose and boom. All right, I think now we are completely fine. I don't ever want to have to use this. But you know what? Sometimes having development commands and or some other forms of cheats when the game decides to completely freak out is a wonderful thing. Let's go ahead and equip this again. So Simmons is my prisoner that I apparently took last time. Uh, we healed her up and we definitely will never recruit her because her stomach is destroyed and I'm honestly kind of surprised that she's alive. But... Funny enough, she kind of functions as a pack mule right now. I can load stuff on her as my prisoner and have her carry my stuff, which is great. And maybe we can sell her later or something. I don't know. Hi, Ian. How you doing over there? Prisoners can escape. Yeah, and, and let her if she wants. Where's she going to go? She can't go very far. All right, Ian's going to try to take a shot at me. He does have some sandbags. I can't imagine that's going to go very far for you. Habsburg, let's go ahead and just destroy this... Uh, power conduit, or what the heck is that? What have you got, Cicada? Wait a minute. You have an anti-material rifle. Ooh. Uh, allowing for one-hit kills. Yeah, no, no thank you. Habsburg, go charge and, and prevent her from shooting this at all, please. No, Habsburg, get up here and, and hit. There we go. Should be able to take you out, because, I mean, you're not going to be able to shoot me now. Right? Pretty sure. All right, you're stunned. We're going to be fine. Cool, I'm about to get a really cool rifle. Hey, look, you're alive. What is all this? So you haven't lost any limbs, though you are, you know, in danger of dying in a few hours. Uh, observed corpse, blah, blah, blah. What is your skill? You're a really good miner. <sighs> I have had an idea. So we still have a drill arm that I extracted from Simmons, who 
appears to have... Nope, she's, she's still here. Okay, what if we captured Cicada, enslaved Cicada, installed a drill arm on Cicada, and had her go do all the drilling for me? Ooh, this could be kind of fun. Okay, let's claim these areas and see if we can find some beds, because I need to get some prisoners set up or something. Uh, and can we claim and deconstruct you real quick? The answer should be yes. You guys head down over here. We need to find a way to get a bed and save Cicada's life ASAP. Did I not claim this? I thought I did. All right, you're not drafted anymore. Get over here. Find a bed. Find There's a bed. Okay. Uh, claim your four prisoners and your medical bed. And then we are going to capture Cicada and bring her over here, where Tigera is going to treat her and stem the bleeding. Is there any heal root? Yes, there is. Let's harvest that. Cannon, stop whatever you're doing. And the area should be safe now because this turret is disabled. Woo! Scary. Okay, we're fine. Tigera, I would like you to tend to Cicada, even if we don't have any medicine. And the rest of this will go ahead and strip. And we should probably explore some other areas and just see if there's anything else of excitement. At least there's no gibbet cages with bodies in them this time, you know? Oh! But there are some dead donkeys! Well, this doesn't make any sense at all! What the heck? Alright, Cicada, how you doing there? Pretty good? Alright. Injured people aren't exactly gonna travel very well. Oh, apparently we're tossing Simmons in the other bed. Well, that's good. You're still okay, right? Yeah, you're fine. You're totally fine. Tiger is going to process the donkeys. Thank you. Look at all the free meat. Woo! And I think we probably want to go ahead and just get out of here. Uh, you know, these muffalo and such are uncomfortably close to the fire. I think they're about to set themselves on fire. Easy way to avoid this. It's called going back to reforming the dang caravan. And we're going to move up over here to this other logging camp instead. That'll be fine. So, yeah, we're going to keep both of these people. They're going to slow me down quite a bit, but that's fine. And they can carry things for me. Let's take the plain leather. And we've still got the drill arm, so that's great. I'll take your hand cannon and your rifle. Worth a thousand? Oh my god. I like this thing. And sure, whatever else we can carry that's not nailed down, that'll be fine. You know what? For good measure, we'll also take the furniture. Because who can say no to a bunch of free good chairs, right? <laughs> All right, so this means we do have a little bit of food to work with. Um, what is this? Research requested opportunity. Something new just popped up nearby. Gray Chief of Karokin League has sent us a message. They're researching an artifact, but have hit a roadblock. If the research goes well, we can do something. Could be an opportunity to improve relations with a faction. Um, not a bad idea, truth be told. I suppose we can. It's only going to take us about a day to arrive there, and we currently do have enough food, so that'll be fine. We do have the setup camp mod now, by the way. And I will be updating the Steam list uh, at some point soon. An infection on Cicada on her right arm. Guess what we're gonna remove <laughs> in just a little bit. Um, in fact, maybe we want to go ahead and do that now. Let's set up camp. So the original mod creator hasn't updated for 1.3 yet. Somebody else actually already did this. But the great thing about setting up camp is you basically pop out in the middle of the map over here, and it's a little bit faster than trying to set up a new colony. And once we leave this camp, we can return back to this tile without any issue. So it's a way for us to continue exploring the world without all the tedious nastiness of trying to actually, you know, properly set up a camp. Uh, all right. So here's the thing. I need to set up a very, very quick structure. Uh, we don't have any usable materials. Well, that's objectively untrue. Let's set up a quick little stockpile zone here, and I'm going to allow literally everything to be in that area. And we need to set up a structure where people can quickly t uh, remove the infected arm from Cicada and install the drill arm. That's what I'm going to do. We'll save her life and simultaneously make her a very valuable slave indeed. All right, drop the drill arm. There we go. Now that should be in my possession. Add bill, install drill arm on the right arm. Would hate to mix that up. There we go. All right, so that's going to be the new priority. All right, take a little nap. Everything's going to be fine. Oh, and what is this? Marriage is on. Tigera has agreed to marry cannon fodder. Ah, you know, it's a perfect romantic story. Ty uh, Cannon tried so many times to woo Tigera. She played hard to get for a long while, and after a few short weeks, all of a sudden, they're getting married. Hold off on the ceremony until we're actually done installing the drill arm, if you please, though. That's still kind of important to me. 
There we go. Surgery failed. Well, that's awkward. Uh, try again? Or something? Um, are you okay? I don't know. Hang on. Right arm. Well, not the arm, but the fingers have been cut off. Gosh, dang it. You just straight out missed. Tigera. This is embarrassing. Well, crud. I'm pretty sure we actually somehow destroyed the drill arm in the process. Gosh dang it. Well, there goes a perfectly good idea. We almost got to do something really fun over here. Ugh. All right, fine. Uh, let's go ahead and reform the caravan, and we'll head over here. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I want to do. So Cicada is now worth less than ever before because, well, we kind of just cut off a bunch of her fingers for zero reason uh, at all, but... Fine, fine, we'll take her with us and we'll see if we can offload her somewhere else. And we had a research disaster. There was an explosion that killed a few people. We scrambled to depart early, but the tribe's people caught up and attack us. And they're very, very angry. Cello, the sole survivor's really stinking mad at me. Ah, uh, okay. Well, just just go and kill Cello or something. Watch out for those boomalopes. I'm sure it'll be fine though. Hi Cicada, how you doing there? We should probably strip the gear off of you and make you walk around naked. Because, I mean, really, who knows what's happening. Why are you all wielding... What? Okay. I did install the sidearms mod, but I don't actually want them using some of this. Um, for example, why do you have this? Use your sniper rifle. That was the whole point. Let's move on to this logging site and see if there's anything fun we can do over here instead. Oh, good! More gibbet cages! Yay! We got more cannibal freaks. Fun, all right. Habsburg, Tigera, cannon fodder, y'all know what to do. Get up over here. Habsburg, are you wielding your axe? You are? Tigera, get your get your dang sniper rifle. That's way better for you. Oh, lordy, I don't know what these guys are thinking, but they're really being dumb. Who is this guy? Brinkacom is trying to attack me. Well, can't imagine that's gonna go very well. You actually hit Tigera? Good shot. Small cut on the left leg. Overall, not that bad. Completely fine. Where's the last person? There you are. Name's Huntsman. I wonder what this person's job really is. Probably hunting. Um, Cannon, swap over to the proper weapon, please, and thank you, and shoot Huntsman. I don't... I don't think I understand why your AI has decided to be dumb. Habsburg's running in there. He's going for it, swinging his axe like a madman. Tigera, why? You have a gun! Just shoot him! So much better than the punchy punch. There we go. All right, we have finished up with this area. Let's explore and see if there's anything good to steal. Uh, cannon fodder got some food poisoning from some dangerous berries. That's gonna be good. Food poisoning is, truth be told, one of the most annoying things that can possibly happen in this game, in my opinion. You just have to like, I don't know, just kind of wander around and vomit for a while and you can't keep food down. You get upset because well, you're not keeping food down, and eh, it's just nasty. Hey, can self-tend. That seems kind of important. All right. Well, Cannon's drinking a beer now in order to try and make up for it. Doesn't seem very helpful. We're going to need to harvest a bit of heel root, I think, since I don't plan on digging through my caravan trying to find any. And would you go tend a bit more over here, please? Okay. You'll botch the harvest like a genius. Come on. You've got to be able to take care of this. Go and take care of Habsburg, because Habsburg got a little bit lacerated in that last fight. Couple of, you know, little cuts here and there in some severe pain, but the right herbal meds should take care of that, no problem. And Tigera's already taken care of herself, so she's looking just fine. Thank you. Gidget has given birth again. Oh my god. I just keep slowing everything down. We're gonna start running out of food at some point. One thing to keep in mind, by the way, um, we do not really want to go any further south than we already have. Paying attention to the growing period is kind of important because if we get into a winter situation and there's no natural vegetation, then my grass-feeding animals, like the muffalo and the yaks, are gonna start starving, and that's no bueno. What we may end up having to do is naturally migrate every couple of seasons up between the north and southern hemispheres, or at least stay close enough to the equator that we have a year-round growing season. That might be the only real way for us to go. All right, well, let's just keep pushing along here. Uh, Cicada's finally fully healed. Well, that's excellent, so now we should be moving at a pretty good speed. And we have arrived. Thank you. All right. So at this location, let's see if we can engage in a few trades. You got plenty of silver. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sell off my prisoners because I don't really see much reason to have people that are consuming my food. Could sell off the calf. It's not exactly worth a lot, but 
It would let me move a lot faster. We'll come back to that if we want. Ruined Lavish Meals. Why on earth would I want to buy that from you? Great question. We have gathered up some agave, apparently. Um, what do I need from you? We can sell off the leathers I'm not going to be using. We have plenty of wool all of a sudden. That's great. Sell off the smoke leaf. Don't see any reason to hold on to that. I am going to probably sell off the uranium. That'll be worth a fair bit of silver and free up a lot of valuable weight. But I'm going to keep the jade for now because that actually might be useful. Let's get rid of some of these terrible weapons. I don't see a lot of reason to hold on to that. The plasteel knife I'll keep, though. This gun, no. Uh, sniper rifle, sure. Anti-material rifle, not actually worth all that much, but that's partly because we have a very bad social skill, so we're not getting the full value out of something, even though that said it was worth a thousand earlier. Uh, let's see. Some of these pants and jackets and stuff are worth a surprising amount, though. Okay. Yeah, get rid of some bearskin overalls worth almost as much as a gun. Heck yeah. Okay, I think that sells off everything that I would want to sell except maybe the calf. So that's more silver than they have, which means we need to actually buy some stuff. If you had some better food, I would certainly be excited about that. Um, you have a tech print for jump packs. I don't see that doing me a whole lot of good. Do you have a psychic insanity lance? Ooh, yes you do. That could actually be really useful for when we crack open an ancient danger, possibly just making someone go berserk and save me a little bit of damage. Maybe a helmet wouldn't be bad either. We do have guardian helmets. Can't imagine that's gonna be worth a lot of protection. Flak jackets could help a little bit. Um, you don't have a whole lot that I care about though. These guys, these guys don't have much. It's a little disappointing. I think we'll take these insect jelly preserves, which should be worth a little bit of food, but also a lot of recreation, which is hard to come by on the road. And I'll also take a telescope from you. This is a pretty good way of getting some extra recreation for people. So I think this is an acceptable deal, and we still walk away with a pretty good amount of silver. My problem right now is I don't have a whole load of food to work with. So maybe now we need to go find some good place to uh, set up a new camp, and we'll start looking for some of those ancient dangers I was talking about before. Or at the very least, set up a quick camp, start hunting some animals, get some more food, because we are not going to last that much longer on the road. All right, um, you know what? Is setting up camp going to be better, or is it going to be a smaller map? I think if we settle, it's a larger map. Let's try doing a settlement. All right, and see if that works. Oh, sure enough, this looks like it could very well be an ancient danger to me. Okay, that is what we were looking for. There's plenty of steel over here, which is going to be great. We will want to create some steel traps that would make my life easier. And I only see the one. Looks like there might also be some gold we can extract, which seems good, and plenty more machined components. Okay. One problem. Gidget has started to run away. Um, and, uh, well, we don't have a pen, which means we can't actually force her to stay here. So we're going to need to quickly chop down some trees and set up a quick little pen. And this is going to become one of the really annoying aspects, I think, of our Nomad Run. Requiring pens every single time we go somewhere is going to be very annoying. The good news is Gidget is dumb and didn't get very far. So now that we have this set up, we should be fine. Cannon, why did you... Yeah, go ahead and drag it back in. Good lord. Now Muffalo 1's starting to walk away. Get them all in the dang pens! So I would like to get a quick little structure set up so we can live somewhere. Um, probably close-ish to the ancient danger, though maybe not like immediately next to it. So we'll construct something kind of like this, I suppose, just to get us started, though we might move in here later. I want a place to put a roof over everyone's head so that they have a chance to rest. What we also need to do, since we didn't bring a lot of metal with us, is start mining out a lot of this steel. I want steel traps. It will make dealing with ancient dangers a lot easier, given that you have no idea what's going to be inside of these things. I mean, it could be just a handful of scrappy little people and they got nothing to worry about, or it could be some centipedes. And if it's centipedes, well, we're going to be in for a really rough day. I think I'm going to have to turn off this realistic darkness mod that I've got right now. It just gets a little bit too dark, you know? I mean, I like realistic lighting. It's cool. But when the world starts getting dark enough that I can barely see what's going on on my end, I know it's only going to be worse on YouTube, so, you know, that's a serious problem. Didn't quite set up a shack in time. Hey, a mega sloth, that's going to be worth a lot to me. But, uh, yeah, the sooner we can get this shack set up, and also a lot of my gear is going to start degrading rather rapidly. What I'd love to do is at some point get to a point where we can carry enough wood around that we can easily set up a pen 
and a shack without having to waste an entire day. One thing I've decided that's really annoying me about Habsburg is he feels the need to recharge his Psy Focus uh, all the time. Desired Psy Focus is way too high. Uh, honestly, you can set that down to like 12. I don't really care. Um, you're my primary constructor, and if you're spending most of your time going off to some random ruins, and that's not doing me a lot of good now, is it? There we go. Get this all built up. Thank you. Much better. Okay, so at this point, we have a handful of steel traps lined up. What I want to do is deconstruct this wall and encourage me to run around the corner and get anything to come chasing me over here, if possible. Tigera, I guess I'll actually have you move over here around the corner and see if we can let the traps do a lot of the work for us because we really have no idea what to expect. Answer, uh, Scyther. Okay, so that means you need to run up this way, then run around this corner as quickly quick as you can. There we go. Scyther's gonna be getting hit pretty hard. What's this? A Persona Zeus hammer? Ho, 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 ho. That does sound like a load of fun now, doesn't it? Okay, the Scyther should already be down, so that's great. Now that that's taken care of, what we do is something kind of similar. I'm gonna have you guys back up over here. Cannon is gonna take a shot at one of these ancient crypto sleep caskets, and the ancients who are residing within are going to wake up. Uh, assuming we can actually get in here and do anything to it. There we go, shoot this. Okay, and then we're gonna run. You missed all your shots, really? Okay, shoot this. Come on, wake him up. Really? This is a little bit weird because I'm pretty sure that it used to be if you even hit these things, then they would all wake up. Now I'm a little concerned that we're sending Cannon into a dangerous situation. Yes, we are, but it looks like the reason no one woke up is because everyone's dead except for Kyle. Hi, Kyle. You have a bruise, a cut, and a gunshot wound. Other than that, not too bad. Mind-shattering pain. What's your skill? Ooh. Look at this, somebody who's actually pretty good at combat. That sounds like something that suits our purposes just fine. Little medical skill, useless in literally everything else. But, 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 I don't know. I mean, could be all right. What's this? A psychic animal pulser is going to be ours. Okay. And a psychic soothe pulser, which is a great way to get some mood up really quickly if needed. Healer mech serum is going to be fantastic for us. We can use this to form new limbs and stuff if needed. And yeah, the persona Zeus hammer. I mean, how can I say no? Round shield will be unusable. I am just fine with that. Now, once wielded, the persona will refuse to be wielded by anybody else. But I'm okay with that. I am pretty sure that Habsburg deserves a giant freaking Zeus hammer. Heck to the yeah. There we go. Zangermar, the persona Zeus hammer now will be wielded by Habsburg and won't allow anyone else to do the job. But that's honestly fine with me. It's such a good weapon. I mean, this thing is going to be freaking nuts. Uh, let's take a look here. Damage per second, 14.75. Solid, solid, solid stuff. Where's the axe so I can do a quick comparison? 5.84. So we've almost tripled our damage per second for Habsburg. Yeah, we lose a shield, but I have a shield belt to protect against bullets for this reason anyway. This is still a huge positive win. So Tigera's already taking care of Kyle, which is great, because uh, in a few hours he was going to bleed out anyway, but this should take care of that. No long-term damage is just fantastic. We're going to need to um, do something. Let's see, prisoner. We need to try to convert you somehow. Yeah, resistance isn't particularly high right now. Well, let's see, prison break interval. No, they're never going to break out. Yeah. So, um, I think I originally was having, uh, Tigera as my converter, but, but, in hindsight, with such bad social skill, that may not make sense. What we may want to do is actually make cannon fodder into our tech priest and pull that away instead from Tigera. Tigera will be unhappy to lose that role, but oh well. I might just make Habsburg my current prime victor. I think that's fine, though he's going to wish he had a visage mask. And Tigera, I'm going to go ahead and make you into a bullet slinger. And you'll gain the following abilities. Marksman Command. What does this do? Call out shots and boost the shooting skills of everyone nearby. Really? Well, that's awesome. Hi, Kangaroo Slayer. Who are you and what do you want? What are you doing? I don't know. Uh, Cannon, 
see if you can go and trade with this person. We might have some stuff to offload now that we've got a whole bunch of dead bodies. I'm sure that's fine. Oh, but there are some problems that come with these role changes. Apparently, Tigera never can do cooking anymore. Oh, well, that obviously is not going to work for us. Okay, I guess we have to remove this and you will be upset. And I'm sorry, I hate to do that to you, but like, yeah, no, you have to be able to do our cooking for us. You're the only competent cook I've got. All right, I did not know that some of those rolls were gonna have that kind of a downside to them. That's uh, that's very interesting and good to know for the future. So let's see what's gonna happen here with Cannon. He's gonna try to do some converting now on the prisoner. Prison break interval every 250 days. Yeah, not a, not a big deal. Visitors are leaving, don't care. So certainty has reduced from 83% down to 76% which implies to me, for Kyle, that his faith in new technologism is going to start wavering. Okay, so keep doing that for a little bit and we will be able to convert Kyle, at which point we also will want to try to persuade you to join. You don't have a lot of resistance and Habsburg can actually use his psi powers to reduce this further, so that's fine. And your will, if it's already down to zero, means we could just straight out enslave you. So if I don't think you're gonna join, we could do that, but you have no other useful, marketable skills. You really might as well join and just be a fighter. We can go ahead and arm you. I think that's the best way to go. All right, well, we're at least getting some meals back together. Um, something we will need to do. I started working on the package survival meals last episode. We got a pretty good distance through that, but did not finish. So I would love to maybe set up a um, research table or something over here and see if we can finish that. Package survival meals, fantastic for a lot of obvious reasons. We would be able to use that to start making meals that aren't going to go bad on me anytime soon. And I think that's going to be just fantastic for me. So yeah, that's something we need to be doing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and set up another stockpile zone over here, probably just for some like raw meat and stuff. Clear this all out. Raw food, sure. We'd like to not have that set up over here. Just to save ourselves a little bit of time to work with. There we go. Okay, so I think we're going to be ending up this video in just a moment. I know we said that we're going to be packing up pretty much all the time, but not feeling too worried about this right now. Uh, major break risk for, what, Habsburg? Habsburg's probably just in pain, right? Ugly environment, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, duly noted. Um, we can at least deconstruct these caskets. That'd be great. Uh, what we'd love to do is set up some form of art, but at the moment, we don't have anybody, I think, with any meaningful art skill, right? So let's see. Art one, three, and three. Now, nobody here is good at art. If we simply had some jade statues over here, we could probably make this no longer an ugly environment. The big issue right now is I'm actually making it into a really ugly storage area as well. But you know what? These are just the things that we're going to have to live with for the moment. And now we have a research bench, which means Tigera can get right back to work, learning how to make these oh-so-crucial packaged survival meals. Perfect. All right, so next video, we're going to have to abandon this location and move on to the next spot. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and start getting as many meals together, grab a whole bunch more resources, cause y'all know we're going to need it. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Gosh dang it, Kyle.